lovelies. It is day 23 of our daily creative practice, and today we are going to make a little place to hold our little Once Upon a Time book that we have been making the last few days. These were little frames that were left over from this matchbook project. So I think I'm going to use one of those here, and I think I'm gonna probably use that one. What I want to do with this is I'm going to cut a hole in the page, and I want this to reinforce it. So what I have done is taken a place in the book where I have two pages glued together here and two pages glued together here, because this is, this is a little hefty, and heavy so I want to have some support on both sides of it so when you turn the page it you have the ability to do that without it feeling flimsy and and rocky and so this is a place where there are like I think there were three pages in between so these are going to eventually be glued together and our little booklet is going to slip down in here hope that makes sense. I beforehand I painted the back and painted the front and while I was doing this painting and gluing I realized that you don't want to put glue on your pages and glue them together and then immediately paint it because when I got it wet it kind of made the paper a little um, soft <laughs> or a little fragile and this happened but that's okay I uh, will go with that I, I, I like the way that turns back there and kind of peeks out so anyway we are going to put our little slit right in here somewhere let me just let me put a something under here to protect the bottom page because I only want to put the slit in the top pages that are glued together not in the bottom pages because that's going to be the that's going to help us keep that pocket together. So I'm just going to come in here and and go ahead and remember when I told you when you're using a craft knife, don't push real hard because you're not trying to get through there the first time. You may have to run three or four passes to get it all the way cut down. I'm gonna make it just a little bit wider, I think. Okay, let's test it again and see that our book fits, because this is pretty hefty. So it now goes down in there, pretty nice. That's gonna work. So if your book was as thick as mine, let me see how wide that actually is it's about four inches so that's how hefty the book is but I don't want I don't want these things right in there to be icky so what I'm going to do is come down and I'm gonna trim right along underneath just about an eighth of an inch Rebecca, do it right the first time. I think we're good. Get the little papers out of there. Clean up that little edge. Okay, I think we're good. Let me put my tool down so I don't cut myself any further. I can remove my mat. Okay, so that's not going to work in that direction. Let's see if one of these does. Yeah, I think that's going to work a little better for what we're doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that and save those little pieces. So I think that's going to look 
pretty darn good in there. Okay, I'm kind of excited about that. So I want to reinforce the back here also. So I think I'm gonna use some of our tape. It really doesn't matter what you use on the back because it's not gonna be seen when we glue the pages together. So let me take some of my duct tape and run right along that edge. give us enough that'll give us enough stability with that back really stable That's good. It looks a little wonky, but that's okay. We will take care of that. We will make some other kind of decoration over that. But I want that duct tape in there to just darn well make sure that that is secure. like that better don't we okay so let me just glue those down sometimes I forget I'm on camera <laughs> duct tape reinforcement under there that is working for us. So I think that works. Let me put this card down. Let's see if there's any excess glue, it will remove it. There was. Right there. So one of the things about glue, this glue, it dries pretty quickly. And what you can do if there is a messy spot there is you can um, come in here with a pencil eraser and boop, just remove any of that pretty darn easily. There's a tip and a trick for you today. And that's with this kind of glue. It doesn't work with all of them, but it does with this kind of glue. Okay, so that is pretty darn secure right now. Let's double check that our book fits down in there. It does, and it's all coordinated. 
and you will see when you pull it out. Isn't that pretty cool? When you pull the book out, you see the falling apart. I love that. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we need to do is just go ahead and glue the pages together. And I'm going to definitely make sure that these I uh, kind of measured earlier where the book would come in to give it plenty of space and made myself just a little line there across the pages so I would know where my glue was going. And then I'm going to come up the sides with my glue. And again, you can put some down in here. We don't, we want to leave this area in here open. And come right along the edge here to get some more. those edges. Okay. Hold it over. Kind of bring the side of the book up so those pages are in line. Burnish them together. And I see some extra work I need to do in there. Didn't get glue enough. It's always a work in progress, isn't it? And then we let that dry. And our book will fit in there beautifully. Pretty darn cool, isn't it? I love this. <laughs> wow. Okay. That was almost 20 minutes, and that went really fast, it seems like to me. So, anyway, this is Rebecca, and I can't wait to be back tomorrow on day 24 and see what we can get into. And anyway, may peace be with you all.